there are two parts. Make sure you answer both A and B. And notice in both it's asking for an OR probability. And on page 193 it explains OR probabilities. But also make sure you understand the difference between OR and AND probabilities. And AND probabilities are on page 187. So it's a good idea to read all of 5.2. It'll explain the difference there. So 5.2 again discusses conditional probability. So reading 5.2 will help with both 6 and 8. And there's a pretty good hint given here. So use the formula which can be found if you want to look at it in the book and context. It's on the top of page 188. Make sure you understand the table. There's a thousand total people here and we exposed them to poison ivy and some of them we washed off the poison ivy oil within five minutes and some of them we let the oil stay on their skin for more than five minutes and then we washed off the poison ivy. And then their reaction they had is listed here. So no reaction, a mild reaction or a really bad strong reaction to the poison ivy. So you can see the majority of people that we washed right away within five minutes had no reaction. So you washed the poison ivy quick, there was no reaction. And then, I mean, some of them still did. Some had a mild, some had a strong. But as you look at people who we took longer to wash, more than five minutes, we let the poison ivy stay on their skin. Only a few of them had no reaction. And then there's more with a mild, and some even had a strong reaction. So 500 people got washed after five minutes, 500 people got washed before, so we split it evenly, and 1,000 people total. So you need to find the probabilities of various things here. Make sure you do A through F, all of it. Example 8 from section 5.2, page 196, is a great example to look at. It has another table like this similar to our poison ivy one and it goes through how to figure out a bunch of probabilities using that table. So look at example 8 it'll help you do number 12. 